Good evening. Nine News can reveal Australian swimming's golden boy Eamon Sullivan has been reported by South Australian police after an alleged mishap at an AFL player's Bucks party in Gawler. Reporter Ben Avery has the story and joins us now live. Ben, what can you tell us? Well, Kate, Nine News has learned Eamon Sullivan is being investigated over an incident outside a Goula hotel where he'd been celebrating with several players from the West Coast Eagles Football Club. What we've been told is two people suffered minor injuries after a crash involving a gopher, which the Olympic medalist earlier borrowed from a local patron. John Guppy regularly drives his gopher to the pub, but Thursday, October 18, was to be very different. One guy came up and asked me for a spin. He says that guy was former world record holder Eamon Sullivan. The 27-year-old was enjoying the Bucks party of West Coast Eagles footballer Sam Butler, who was home in the Barossa to marry partner Natasha days later. Around 5pm it's alleged Sullivan and another person were on the gopher on Gawler's main street when it crashed into a table of patrons outside the Prince Albert Hotel. We had a group come through for a Bucks party uh, stayed here for one or two drinks, didn't appear to be intoxicated. Uh, unfortunately, we had an, an incident out the front here at the pub. After that, they were asked to move on. Police say a man and a woman received bruising to their arm and back, the female taken to hospital for x-rays. Sullivan was reported for disorderly behaviour and two counts of assault. The swimmer also barred from two Gawler pubs for 72 hours. This barring order shows the swimmer's full name and address. The swimmer couldn't be contacted for comment, but his lawyers released a statement confirming there had been an accident, but saying there was no evidence to suggest Sullivan was responsible. John Guppy says he feels for Sullivan and that he did try to smooth things over. He was um, upset. He gave me $50. The allegations will cause more headaches for Swimming Australia, which has dealt with its fair share of recent controversies. Now, this latest incident happened six weeks ago, but incredibly, the details were only brought to light today after a Nine News investigation. The case has now been referred to the Elizabeth Criminal Justice Section, which will decide if there's sufficient evidence to go ahead with a prosecution.